Hi, this is Lisa. This is Soul Nirvana Spirituality. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing a uh, candle wax reading. I have two bowls for you for, to choose from. Um, this is also an ASMR reading. Um, so what I want you to do is take a deep breath. Um, we have the white pasta bowl with a purple candle. And then we have the clear crystal bowl with a red candle. Um, again, take a deep breath. Focus on the bowl uh, that you resonate with the most. And we'll be back with your reading. And I hope you do enjoy this reading. If you do so, um, hit the bell notification, like, share, subscribe. And sending you love and blessings. Thank you. So if you chose bowl number one, the pasta bowl with the purple candle, this is going to be your reading for February 2021. So I want you to clear your mind, uh, clear your head, take a deep breath, focus on the water and the candle, and we will see what messages come to me tonight for you for the month of February. Bowl number one. Let's see what we have for you tonight. Clear your mind. Take a deep breath. Focus on the candle dripping into the bowl. The first thing I'm seeing is lots and lots of butterflies. So I see you might be going through a transformation right now. I see butterflies and flowers, butterflies and flowers. Uh, so that's really a beautiful thing. Let's see a fairy over here. So something magical. A smile. Something is going to give you a reason to smile in the immediate future. And it's funny because right after I said that, I see lips, which is... To me, communication, kissing, talking. But I also see lips and I see a tongue coming out. So somebody might be gossiping. Be careful. Be careful in who you speak your secrets to or confidential information. You see a check mark here, something you may want to check out or um, you need to check on something or you're checking out something currently. I see what looks like an egg. So to me that, that um, reminds me of something new, creative, uh, growth. Fertility. I see it looks like a, a, a it look, well, I, mean, I live in the US. It looks like a dollar bill here. So maybe money coming into you in February.
I see a mask here. Somebody might be wearing a false mask with you, or you may be covering something up and wearing a mask, um, not expressing feelings. Um, I'm getting feelings or words to somebody, and it's just holding you back because you can't do this. Um, everything's kind of at a standstill, or with them, one or the other. It's just holding you back from progressing. And it appears that whatever this is that you want to communicate is something that you really want. So, and, and even if there's fear involved, don't be afraid. The person that you're speaking to is going to be okay with it. They're going to be receptive. And um, they're thinking the same way as you are. I think it's just kind of like um, you're both holding back. I see a guitar here, somebody might be into music, play guitar. I see. Looks like, um, almost like a seesaw, so you might have to bring balance into a situation. I see a Z or other countries call it a Z. Um, I don't know, that might have some kind of significance to you. I know Canada calls it Z. We call it Z here in the US. I think uh, possibly the United Kingdom, they call it Z as well. I also see an A here. So that may be first, or you know, Z and A might be initials, could be significant to you in some way, initials or your name might start with that or it might be a special letter for you, somebody you know. I also see a man here carrying a heavy, something really heavy on his back. So you might feel like you're having to carry a heavy load right now, but I'm getting a message that this will pass soon. It will pass over the next four to six weeks. I'm also getting, it looks like a little brush here, like, almost like a shaving brush, like a shaving cream brush. So you might have to brush something off or somebody's trying to give you the brush off. And something. I also see up here, it looks like a face, but it's got kind of a smirk on it. Um, somebody is very envious or jealous of you and they might be um, somebody that you confide in or you give advice to or they give advice to you um, and whatever you might be asking them about it might be kind of something that you don't talk to other people about but what I'm getting is they're out for their own gain and they do not want you to succeed in something that you really want be very careful what you tell this person or anybody right now. Um, keep your plans to yourself until they're, they've come to fruition. Um, because people are gonna be interject and injecting negative influences into this. Envy, jealousy, um, just negativity. So don't tell people, uh, take your own advice. Um, Follow your heart, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Follow your heart, and whatever your heart tells you is what is right for you. And whatever this is that you're confiding in isn't something that you should be logical about anyway. Um, being logical is just going to end up hurting you in the long run. 
it's something that you definitely have to use your heart in because that's what's going to make you happy. That's what you're going to love. And this could have to do with love. You know, you might feel like you're getting support from somebody, but actually um, they might seem loving and supportive, but they're just smirking. They're just like, I'm going to act like I'm really caring and loving to this person. But in reality, I don't want to see them succeed or I don't want to see their plans happen because I either would be jealous of that happening um, for my own gain. I don't want to see them with somebody else or I don't want to see them succeed in some way. Whatever the situation is, they really don't want to see your happiness or they want to see it with them and not with anybody else. I see the letter B here, another letter that might be significant, and I'm going to put this candle down because it's going to burn my fingers. I see a, a comma, so there might be, you might have to take a pause, and there may be a pause in a situation that you were hoping would go a little bit smoother. I also see a circle here, um, so something might, might be like a karmic cycle. Um, or a situation that you just feel like you're just going around and around in circles or you're running around in circles in some way. Um, so just uh, take care of yourself. I also see headphones here. So you might be listening to a lot of music or listening to podcasts or meditating. Whatever it is, this, these headphones are just going to give you a little bit of extra peace. So if you feel like you're going around in circles and you have to take a pause, this is kind of the best thing you can do is listen to music, listen to something that interests you. It could be music, it could be podcasts, it could be documentaries, it could be audiobooks, things of that nature. Just enjoy it and enjoy the time. Um, and this, once you step away and take your way, uh, yourself away from this, uh, karmic cycle or this thing that you feel like you're running around in circles in once you take it away from that um, This pause is going to stop and you're going to move forward um, You're going to have forward movement I'm just trying to see if there's any other messages um, X there may be an X involved or an X that you have to get out of your life um, Or you might be getting divorced. I see several different things here with that X um, ex-friend, ex-lover, um, whatever it is, um, you need to take a step back from the situation. It might be going around in circles. And once you do, you'll be able to release the situation, which in what I'm getting from message is this situation needs to be released. It needs to end. So that's just another message for you. I also see a little duck here. So that to me is luck. So you might be a lucky duck, a lucky duck in the near future. Um, and that's about all I have for you, bowl number one. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you love and blessings for the month of February. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Welcome to your bowl. If you chose bowl number two, welcome to my channel. Um, you chose the red candle. This is going to be your reading for February 2021. So I want you to take a deep breath, clear your mind of any thoughts. I'm going to pour the water and I just want you to focus on the water and the candle drip and we'll see what we get from messages for you tonight.
you see a cardinal here, um, like a cardinal bird. Um, you may see them. Um, usually cardinals represent deceased relatives or spirit, um, messages from spirit. So that's really a good sign to see that first in this bowl. So maybe we'll get some messages from um, spirit. I see a chain here you've been trying to break and it's something from the past um, and you're gonna eventually break it you just need to you need to kind of be more assertive in the situation it's holding you back from something for your future you feel chained to a, a past situation and it's just not good it's not healthy it's not allowing you to be happy And you may be harming more people by not breaking this chain, the cycle, whatever it is, than you would be if you just broke it. Like, uh, what I'm saying is, if you break this chain, people might be initially shocked, but the pain will then be over. But if you just continue in the situation, um, it's just going to cause much more pain um, for future and future generations. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I'm getting. See the letter L. L may be uh, first, middle, or last initial in your name, or somebody's name that's significant to you. L is my first letter. I also see a flag here. Um, you may be traveling somewhere to a different country, continent, or you're very patriotic. You're very patriotic. I see a sword here. You might have to defend yourself about with somebody that's pretty aggressive. You also might be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius, I think a Libra, I think of swords and the tarot deck with that also. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hearts here. Um, so uh, lots of love, romance. Um, maybe a nice Valentine's Day. I see an umbrella over here. So um, you might have a lot of heavy rain or some increment weather. Also, you might be trying to shield yourself from something. Um, shield yourself from something that's too much, whether it be rain or sun or you know, energy, somebody, a person, a situation. I see a cross here. Somebody may be very religious or spiritual or go to church. Uh, keep doing that because I think you're going through a spiritual, uh, not, a, not an awakening necessarily, but an upgrade, like an elevation. 
an ascending, you're in an ascending pattern right now. I also see a hammock you might need to get some more rest. You might not be getting enough rest. And I see a triangle, so there might be a, a triangulating um, situation or a third party relationship that either you're in um, and you're unaware of or you've brought somebody into this that's unaware and you need to tell them or they need to tell you. The truth needs to be spoken. I think it's it's not them. I think it's maybe you are involved with somebody and the other person's unaware and you need to just tell them what's going on so they can make up their own mind. That's for some of you, that's not for everybody. It's a specific message for somebody. Um, you know, this, not every message is going to resonate with everybody. I see a you, so you need to take care of yourself. Take care of you right now. Self-care. Be self-aware. I see a C. A C may be significant. I also see like a jellyfish. Um, so somebody might feel like they got stung or be careful if you live in a warm location that there's jellyfish in the water, you could get stung. But something might have stung you or you might get stung a little bit, but you're gonna be okay. Regard whether it's happened already or in the future. I see two people kissing over here. So there might be a, a beginning of a love relationship. Seems like it's gonna be long lasting because you're holding hands like you're bonded together at the bottom of it. The letter J. The letter E. Almost looks like jet. Maybe you'll be traveling on a jet. I don't know. You know, with this virus, some countries are open, some are not. Uh, travel's a little tricky right now. But I think maybe in the near future. I don't think in February, but maybe you'll be making plans for that. I know it's getting better. Gotta be careful, I gotta get this. And I see coins. So, ooh, I'm sorry about that. So, I see coins. Wow, this is gonna keep rocking. So you might have some financial abundance in February. See in the end of February. I also gotta put this candle down because it's getting close to my finger hair. Let's see. Is there anything else? I see a slingshot, so. I don't know, somebody might be just slinging some gossip around. Uh, be very careful with that. And up here I see a face and it seems to be smiling. 
So happy things, happy things coming, good things coming. And I see an hourglass here. So time might be an issue on something. Um, you might have to wait a while for something that you want. Um, but what I'm getting is it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Keep plugging away. It's going to be worth the wait. Um, just have patience. Everything will happen. And it's going to turn out ten times better than what you're imagining in your head right now. And all these things that you're overthinking about um, because you're having to wait is driving you crazy. But if you have patience, things are going to turn out way better, way better. I also see, you see how this the candle kind of has a little tail and there's like a little weight at the end. It almost looks like a stick of dynamite going off. So um, you might have a little conflict. It's going to blow over really fast, but it might be like a, with a family member or something. That's what I'm getting from that. And bowl number two, that's about all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading tonight. If you did so, please uh, subscribe. Hit the like, uh, hit the bell notification, like, comment. And I want to send you love and blessings for the month of February. Thank you very much for coming to my channel.